is going on everybody? It is Milbro back with the Richard Die episode 18. I just made myself some plant fire pants overnight to help myself warm up. I figured at least have something to get me warmed up. I've tried to keep myself from freezing and did a little bit of uh, fortifications on the windows here. I had a wandering horde come through overnight and I realized though uh, we're starting at just shy of 22,500 dukes so Read this little register, I realized never rated it, so... 26 dukes, but now we're over 22,500. Yeah, I never rated this part of the gas station, and uh, unfortunately nothing in Charlie Boy there. Paper out of you, and... Iron Sledgehammer schematic. It's like last episode, I was the one to buy the, uh... Buy the sledgehammer, buy that from the trader, because, uh... Bob was offering it up to me, I'm like, uh, I don't know, I just want to save money. And wouldn't you know it, I found it. Yeah, put in some doors and everything, I'm, I was thinking, like, if I'm gonna live in this, uh, for the night, you know, I might as well do that. There is another corpse I want to search up top, though. Uh, come on. It's like, I know I'm freezing, I need to find a jacket. Yeah, just gonna spend most of this episode uh, raiding the you know, Winterland Town, as I dubbed it. You got a nice well bunker, and I got a bunker over there, and I know there's a well bunker in this town. I'm pretty sure there is, at least. Uh, it's been a couple days since I recorded this. Some gas for the mini bike. Pick up the old uh, gas barrels. Uh, that way, even if I don't have the gas can schematic, I can at least, uh, keep it. I might be freezing, but I'm not worried too much about it. I have plenty of food. Oh, no, not the gravel, you... Just want to axe these tires up for some... for some money uh, later on. Scrap that can. Um... I'm gonna go uh, find the... Hey, another set of tires. As I was saying, I'm gonna go find the well bunker because I know that's uh, gonna be a good raid for spring, so... Let me just go through here, let me go you know, find that and I will catch up with you then. So I'll just bring it into the gun safes here and... Yeah, I wanted to ask you guys, you know, like, right near the beginning of the episode... Like, I know sometimes my commentary gets a little bit dry, but do you guys, uh, you know, even though this is a seven days channel, uh, don't mind me just not commentating on this stuff, I I want to ask you, uh, what would you want to see, like, what would you want to hear me talk about? Would, like, do you, do you want to hear me, like, you know, talk about other games I play, you know, aside from seven days? Uh, do you want us to like, hear more about like uh, what goes on in my personal life, or uh, or do you rather me just kind of keep the commentary focused on the uh, Seven Days gameplay? I know some people uh, like a bit mix of both. I know that, and let me just combine some stuff here real quick. Um, hunting rifle parts. There we go. I just want to make sure I put this stuff together for the sake of keeping junk together and my apologies guys. I have the Magnum Enforcer schematic, very nice uh, to know. Oh, that's submachine gun parts. One little fun thing about trying to keep those from getting confused. AK parts and hunting rifle barrel and all that good stuff. I got, this is always a good little raid for all the good stuff. I wanted to raid this uh, in particular though in potentially a better pair of pants and also the chance of getting a puffer jacket. It's like, I was starting to freeze for a bit and I have coffee to keep me going on the, you know, keep me from freezing over on that front, which is not, so it's like not too worried about that. But the lockers can often give me a lot of good stuff. 
I know if I really felt like wrenching all this down, uh, I could get a lot of iron or anything, but it takes a while with the little, little wrench I have. And here we are. This is what I wanted to raid for. King size beds. Um, need to combine some more stuff to... Let's see. Combine that in there. Yeah, I want all the... Want all the, uh... Want all the good stuff out of this. Because these are very good for resources. I'll drop the bones and drop the animal fat. Cloth fragments, shrimp and pipes. It's like I want to make sure I try to salvage as much as this as possible. The animal fat and bones are not that big of a deal. I can find bones off zombies in my local town. No biggie. Yeah, I want to raid these little hoods. I want these little beds and also the king size beds because they give lots of springs. How many springs just from that alone? 30 springs. It could be a little bit less. Skull cap, overalls. Nice press boy cap. Not bad. Football helmet, don't really need it. Yeah, getting colder again. Just break my way through this. Yeah, those springs are very valuable to me. There's fertilizer in there. Black cowboy, couple pairs of cowboy boots. Black shades. Hang on here, let, do I have anything on my face? I'll take those over the, uh, um, what do you call them? Oh, looking over the goggles any day. I would rather have the, uh, because that's an uncommon item to find. Of course, gotta raid the bathroom just to see what's uh, what's cooking in here. Toilet, toilet, murky water. I'll stash some stuff in the mini bike uh, once I'm done uh, raiding this uh, joint. Just that uh, I want to at least check everything. Coffee beans. Could refine that in the coffee if I felt like it. First aid kit. I'll just use it. Another wrench, very nice. If it's a an extra level or two, I'll take a, a little bit of uh of raiding hold that stuff. Now hopefully I get decent RNG with the bookcases. Cause when I was recording with uh Fangs uh the other day, after I recorded the last episode of the series, uh you know, you're talking about like how uh you know most likely I'll probably find like the gas can schematic in that series uh before I find the gas can schematic in this series because that's just how the game is sometimes it likes to be a troll with uh, how like oh you 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 wanted this uh this schematic no sorry don't I don't feel like giving it to you just grab all the cloth off that, since I'm getting a good stack of cloth already. Headlight... that should just... Yeah, I'm just gonna drop that. I don't want to eat it. Ugh. Hey, leather duster. Just what I was looking for. I know I could sell that off, but I would rather have the... And something for warmth at the moment. More warm boots. And lead trophy. That's gonna be about it for the bubble bunker, but I will let you know once I'm... I think I'm gonna raid the other bunker in this town, because there's more beds in that, too. More beds equals more springs. So yeah, just give me a little bit, and I'll be right over with uh, that one. See what's in the safe here, uh, and in the other bunker. Some shotgun and hunting rifle and handgun parts. Um, iron helmet schematic. That's pretty good for. I'm gonna find some extra stuff. Um, put that pistol barrel in there. And then. 
what I want to do is I just want to take this pistol receiver and actually put the put that together. Another one another pistol ready for assembly. Uh, in order to help out with putting stuff to keeping stuff together and uh, and not keeping it well. Try to keep it from becoming an absolute mess. Just throw some extra gun parts in there. Have some lumberjacks that sound like they they want to. Yep, there's a lumberjack out back. Sometimes it sounds. Sometimes zombies, uh, like one zombie, can sound like a whole whole crowd of them. Come here, big guy. You've been uh, you been uh, making noise at me the entire time I've been breaking in here. Come here. Besides, I can use the XP for taking out the, taking you guys down, anyways. Come on, wake up. It's your nap. I don't need you to take a nap in the snow. What do you got for me? Nail gun parts. Yeah, I did miss a locker, and there was a couple schematics, but I found the hunting knife book. I think I already know it. Yes, I do. Just want to be absolutely sure of that because sometimes the uh, a little bit of water. And we'll just scrap that. We'll just grab those painkillers. Sometimes they're just kind of a little bit weird. Lost my train of thought there. That hunting rifle barrel I want to take with. Raid these lockers. AK-47 schematic, another point gunsmithing. More uh, locker stuff. Thankfully, I managed to sort out my. Uh... Hey, there we go. Uh, do, do, do. Scrap you. We'll just scrap that as well. Well, I'm doing. I actually want that lower level layer duster to be mine, anyways, because I'm like, I can repair the other one for higher. Uh, for more in cash in the long run. Larry does herself pretty well, and also the oh, I'm trying to think. <laughs> what do you call them? The and the puffer coats. They sell pretty well to traders, uh, especially puffer coats. They it's like getting those. Uh, once you're bartering level, which I invested like a couple of skill points that I had extra from uh, a couple challenges I completed over the journey, like they could sell for like 500 bucks easily. Very good profit. So you can find them, especially if you find a fair amount of them. Always make sure to rent down these beds. And there we go. That's done. Brown denim pants. I'll just. Scrap the uh, short iron pipes for for the second. Scrap those again, and we'll just drop those uh, plant fire pants. And finally, it actually look good again. And blueberry. Not really. Good. I need it to eat well for blueberry pies. I don't know if they sell well. Crossbow, extra point of weapon smithing, and another first aid kit schematic. I know I can sell paper, but eh, don't really want it. I was say, did I already check that dead corpse? No. Let's see. Old sink. Some more iron. I will gladly take it. No, not the... There we go. Didn't want to drop those. And... A couple turds I could make into fertilizer later on. I'll just uh, save that. I'll... It's like I... I want to make sure I just get more of those. I don't need the goldenrod seed. Now let's see. Cooler, you got anything for me? Just a class door. Thanks, for, but no thanks. Um, 
Probably not gonna be too much in the old kitchen here. Drink you up and more glass jars. Just more, more, more. Nothing in that corpse. And usually the corpses at least give me a 44 magnum piece or uh or they give me a uh, something else. I'm not usually this stingy with me, but I digress. Yeah, that's about it for for the for the bunker. Check the trash can. Yeah, no, nothing. Well, some good parts, not really much else. Anyways, uh, I want to go raid and working sift tools. Oh, hello. A little bit of a uh, wandering horde. As I say, I wanted to uh, do the uh, working set tools, but looks like I got my walking, talking, uh, well, my walking, growling XP service. Uh, and come here. Let me kill these guys, and then uh, I'll uh, meet up you guys at uh, uh, working steps. Sifts now beaten into the safe first. That wandering horde uh, was really big. I was thinking to myself, I'm like, damn, this is a really big horde. Like, it's like because I kill off a whole bunch of male zombies. Like, I'll you know, I'll have the footage uh, fast forwarded for you guys just so you can see. But then it's like I see a whole bunch of girl zombies. I'm like, what is this? Is it a just a wandering, uh, one big wandering horde, or is it two of them? It's like, I know I have the zombies set on uh, very high, and for spawning, which, to me, I like having that for, because of, uh, you know, I want to have, get, feel like a zombie apocalypse. Maybe a receiver and calipers and some, uh, I can't, I can't remember now, just what I found. But anyways, uh, I was like, damn, that's a lot of zombies. And a tool and die set. Wow, oh, can basically deck out one of the forges uh, now. The only thing I, the only things I think those are used for is making rockets and the forge, like rocket, uh, casings and tips. More nails, uh, which means more iron. Very nice stuff. Another wrench. I'll actually just drop that raw meat because I have plenty of that sitting in the chest at, at the gas station. What do you got for me? Another anvil, and man, I'm really getting chock full of the chock full of loot. I'll have to make a trip afterward after I'm done recording this episode for the just to come back for that. Another fire axe, more nails. 
Yeah, just trying to clear out, like, uh, figured this would make a good stop for iron. Another wrench. If only had a workbench to uh, merge all that. Antibiotics and stuff. Blah. Just find all the good stuff in here. Okay. Yeah, I'm just running out of room in this, uh... I was, I wish I had the, uh, bigger uh, storage for this stuff, uh, like the, you know, like, for the mini bike and... As well as I'm thankful to have that, but... Damn, it... There is just... Kind of was, you can only hold so much loot. Let's see what's in here... Just scrap that, like, car battery down. And check the file cabinets and the registers. That one's unfortunately not lootable. Um, what you got? Nada. And I already checked that one out. What do you have for me? Nada. I'm fine with that. And you got nothing. You got water for me. I'll just drink it. I'll drink that too. Vending machine, don't need to spend any money though. Or crossbow schematic. Wonderful. What you got? Another 24 dukes. See, I would say that's about that's about it for today's episode. I hope you guys all enjoyed watching. Ending at about, I want to say, 22,550 dukes. Uh, uh, so... Hope you all enjoyed, and uh, I'll see you in the next episode of Get Rich or Die. Have a great day.